What's up, YouTube? So, I got to the root cause of the Honda Odyssey steering clunk. So what happens is, I believe the upper piece was plastic inside wears out, and what you're hearing is these two pieces twisting. So if you pull on your steering shaft up here, pull down on it, or put pressure on it, and turn your steering wheel back and forth with your hand still on the shaft, putting pressure on the splines, you'll feel that that annoying clunk goes away once you confirm that the lower U-joint and that bolt is not loose at the bottom there. See where the yellow bushing is? So that's your lower steering U-joint. Uh, uh, Make sure that that's tight first. And like I said, Honda wants to sell you the whole steering column. So what I was thinking is if you take the whole steering column apart, drill a hole in it, put a set screw in it, and put the set screw point right in the splines and apply a little pressure, it will still be able to move up and down um, and this does flex and that's why the steering columns are like this so it can slide in and out so now uh, just for me to confirm where the noise was coming from I tack welded this together um, and uh, this was just for experimental purposes the uh, used car dealer is going to get me a used steering column and see what we get there um, but they're probably all going to have the same issue uh, but I'm curious how long this will hold up. I want to tell them the driver for a couple days and see see what happens. But um, <clears throat> there's no noise now in the steering column with that. Also, what I thought was they sell these tube clamps that are like a circle. If you got a tube clamp and then tightened it up around this, shrinking that metal just a little bit, would it put enough pressure on there to keep that noise um, from happening? I don't have any of those old style exhaust uh, air injection tube clamps. I wish I did because I would have tried that first. But I didn't feel like tearing this thing out and digging into it. Um, I just wanted to get to the root cause of what it is. But it's definitely the steering shaft, which is part of the steering column. Thank you, Honda. Thank you very much, Honda. Thank you very much. I figured it out, though.